Welcome back guys and girls on this beautiful December day here. We got a 2021 Toyota 4Runner TRD Off-Road, no KDSS in today. We're pretty excited that we got a Dobinson IMS lift in finally and we're finally able to film it for you guys. So we're gonna go over some of the components, go over what the customer chose and show you how the install goes. So this customer decided to go with the IMS kit. So the IMS and the MRR are slightly different even though they use the exact same shocks. To point it out for you guys, they have the, the close off ports right there and the MRR would have the additional reservoir with the adjustments that we learned about at Overland Expo. Let's go over what the IMS kit comes with, what we uh, recommended to the customer to also get. So it comes with the IMS coilovers in the front, shocks, it comes with springs in the rear, and then the IMS shocks in the rear. What we added to the kit was SPC upper control arms to make sure that that alignment's perfect and that we have as much clearance in the wheel well as possible. Also, we added a Toy Tech sway bar slash diff drop slash radiator drop. That's what you need on these four runners to make sure that the skid plates can go back on, everything clears, there's no noises, no rubbing. So to get more technical into what the customer got, he got the extended length IMS 50574. So those add an inch off the bat of lift. Um, he then went with the 302 springs. So that's a two and a half inch lift, too much lift. So we're gonna actually set those a little bit lower um, so he gets three inches of total lift in the front. In the rear, he went with the 325 stock low two inch lift. So this is gonna be a 3.2 lift um, and it should look great, drive great and work for this customer setup perfectly. Let's get to work. Just to clarify what we were talking about earlier, we were talking about diff drops and radiator drops and uh, sway bar drops, things like that. Just to talk about what that is, is the lift is in and with that three inches of lift, the axle angle is gonna put a lot of strain on those needle bearings inside the differential. Also on your CV boots. So to drop it one inch, it's like it's really a two inch lift. So it's not necessary, but there is companies out there like ECGS with the needle bearing upgrades that you could go to. This is just the most cost effective, easiest solution for that. So it's actually dropping the diff an inch. It's then dropping the radiator support an inch to allow for the sway bar and the uh, drop to go in and then your skid plate drop to go in. So check it out and that's what we recommend. It works pretty well. If you guys like this video or our other videos, we try to do a mashup of a how-to with uh, showing off components so you can pick what you like 
uh, and possibly customize your vehicle with the same stuff. If you like that, we got another one coming up for you. Rhymes with fam. So like, subscribe, and check us out on the next one. You like that one?